What's going on YouTube? Shining Eevee 123 back again with some more Pokemon Pearl. In the last episode, we arrived here in Pastoria City and did some exploring. This time, we're going to take on the gym leader of this city. So, let's head straight on inside. And before we go in, I think my main two po uh, Pokemon for this gym are going to be Clefairy and Drifblim. Just because Drifblim's got Shockwave and Clefairy's got Magical Leaf, so they're going to be my main Pokemon for this gym. And in we go. Let's see what you have to say. The gym leader Wake, uh, I mean Crasher Wake, is a master of water type Pokemon. I'd say you see, I'd say you've got good guts if you try to face down water types with a fire or ground type Pokemon. But that part I'll leave up to you. Go and have some good battles. Yeah, so obviously we have a fire and a ground type in this gym, or to use in this gym, but they're not going to see much use. Because like he said, fire, ground, and, and rock types as well are weak to uh, water types. So I'm going to start by facing every single trainer. So, and there's quite a few trainers in here, so let's go. These battles are going to be really easy. I can't remember what we do. Yeah, we do have to press that green one. I'm trying to do this all off of a memory, so if I mess up somewhere, I do apologize. But for this battle, if I remember, he has Wingo on his team, so let's put Drifblim to the front and get on with this battle. I've traveled all over the globe whilst raising Pokemon. This is the gym I've chosen. You'll find it a handful for sure. Really? Really? Yeah, so we're crossing another two tap all you're gonna need in this gym, so I don't know why he said it's gonna be a handful, because two pretty common types can be another common type. But whatever, we'll just put I pressed fly by accident, that's funny. Whoops, okay. Let's just put the fairy to the front and get on with this next battle right here. Here we go. Okay, moving on to this trainer, and if I remember correctly, she's got the whole, you know, Azuril, Meryl, Azumarill thing going on, but we'll see if I'm right or not. Don't believe it, just watch! Hey, 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 yeah! Stop! Wait a minute! Fill my cup, put some liquor in it! Take a sip, sign the chair! Pull it out! Get the stretch! Ride to Harlem, Hollywood! Mississippi. If we show up, we're gonna show out. Smoother than a fresh ice skipping. I'm too hot, hot damn. Call the pole, beats in the fine man. I'm too hot, hot damn. Dragon water, it's Iron Man. I'm too hot, hot damn. Make
Okay, so she actually didn't have a zoom rail, just as a as just a zero rail and Meryl, and I can't remember what this guy uses. I think you know what? I'm gonna chance it. I'm gonna leave Clefairy up front. Alright, during that battle, the fairy, as you guys saw, grew to level 31 and the metronome. Now, I, obviously, I was stuck between getting rid of cosmic power and sing, but with sing, it's only got 55% accuracy, and if I want to reteach it later on, I can always do that with a heart scale anyway, so it's not a big deal. And I think using metronome might be quite fun. You know, if I want to go for a comedy victory, you know, I can just do that, so, there you go. Metronome, everybody. And for this last battle up here, I'm going to put Drift Blim to the front. And let's get on with this battle. Here we go.
Okay, so that's that. Now we can push this button and get to the gym leader. Although I don't want to face him just yet because I need to go heal. So I will be back in just a second. Alright, I'm back. And unfortunately when you leave the gym, the whole puzzle resets. So you have to do the whole thing again. But once you know how to do it and you've beaten all the trainers, it doesn't take that long. So, without further ado... Let's get straight into this battle, and I'm not going to save before this gym battle, I've done that in previous videos, but I'm feeling confident for this one, so let's go. Welcome! I don't get challenged very often. The glory you are... No, but... Oh, sorry. The glory you are now beholding is the Pistoria Gym Leader. That's right, I'm Crasher Wake. My Pokemon were toughened up by stormy white waters. They'll take everything you can throw at them to, to then pull you under. Victory will be ours. Come on, let's get it done. So as you can tell guys, I am not the most confident reader in the world. And what I, I don't usually do the voices of the characters when I'm playing through by myself. I'm usually just playing through the game. And if you're wondering why I'm starting with Hapini, it's because Gyarados has got Intimidate, which lowers your attack stat. So instead of taking an Intimidate on one of my main Pokemon, I'm just going to send in this, which is going to die in one hit either way, because I don't plan on using this Hapini after I'm done with this game anyway. So, there we go. So! The moves, as usual, will be on screen as when the Pokemon gets sent out. Any hold items will... well... Only their strongest Pokemon usually holds an item, so I don't need to go over that. <laughs> Hopefully Shockwave does a decent amount of damage because... You know, it's four times effective. Look, it doesn't even kill it. Brian, what? I want to know why he's going for Brian, because Brian does double damage if you're, it, it basically does double damage if you're below half your health, so be careful for that, and I could have shockwave then, I thought he was going to use a hyper potion instead of a super potion, so I went for ominous wind, but apparently I was wrong, so we'll just go straight back to using shockwave, because I... Know already that I can outspeed Gyarados. So there's nothing to worry about there. We'll take out the Gyarados. With a crit nonetheless. I could have got that the first turn. Or even the second turn. But no, it had to be the third turn. Okay, and that's going to activate our, sh our Shell Bell. Which is actually due to our Unburden ability. is also going to increase our speed. So if we can outspeed this Floatzel now, I wouldn't be surprised because we have got plus two on speed and we still can't outspeed it. That's a shame. Ice Fang is probably going to kill us. I probably should have stockpiled. It's not. That's good. Okay, so Shockwave. Uh, hopefully it does about half or a little bit more, which is fantastic. But it's going to activate that Citrus Berry, which his Floatzel has, because it's his strongest. Oh, there's our Shell Bell, which again is going to increase our speed. Hmm. I'm not confident that we still, that we can outspeed it still. So instead, I'm just going to Moo Moo Milk. Oh, he's going to bra- he's going for the finish. That did, a, that did quite a lot. Brian again. I don't know why you would give a float to uh, Brian, because it's a special attack, and Floatzel is more of a physical attacker. 
But hey, whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat, Crasher. Whatever surfs your wave, I guess. Which is the correct term for Crasher Wake. And there we go, I think we're up like plus 5 speed now, but for this last Pokemon, I don't want to use Cloud. Instead, I want to use my Clefairy, because Clefairy has a move that's four times effective against Quagsire, because it's Water Ground type. So your Electric types are going to be completely useless against this thing, so make sure you either have something that can... You either have a grass move, or you have something that can do a lot of damage to this thing. Because grass is the only weakness this Pokemon has. And I like water ground types, because that means, you know, grass is their only weakness. And even though grass is quite a popular type, it's also quite an easy type to counter, so... There we go. And he is going to Super Potion. But that Magical Leaf... You know, I learnt my lesson from the last time, so Magical Leap is just going to kill this Quagsire. And there we go, that is another easy gym done and out the way. And we don't even get a level from that, which is bad, but hey, what can you do? What can you do? It seems the Undertow pulled me under, but I had a great time battling with you. You've earned this. And we receive a Fen Badge. And you know what, I always see people asking what the hell a Fen is. I'm going to put the, uh, a description of it in the description because I don't know how to explain it right now. You need the Fen Badge to use the hidden move Defog outside of battle. This is a special reward from me in recognition of your team's power. TM55, which, if you want to guess what that is, it is Brine. The move con contains Brine and inflicts double damage on the targets with less than half their HP left, as I explained earlier. Use it to end battles decis decisively. Like I said, I am the, not the most confident reader. I probably should read more books, but hey. I can't be bothered and I just don't really want to. So, let's check out the Certified Trainers. There we go, Pastoria City Pokemon Gym. Certified Trainers, Barry, and there we are. So with that, that's another gym battle out of the way. So let's go. With that, we are confidently got our fourth gym badge. Why am I going to my bag? <laughs> I want to check out my trainer card so we can check out these badges really quick. Here we go. There you go. There's the badges. So with that, that is another gym badge out of the way. And that's going to end this video, guys. So thanks again for watching, and Shining EV123, over and out.